What's going on, Ball and Glove Love and Brewer fans? Welcome to Brew Crew Tuesday. I am Tyler, your host for this segment. I can be found on Twitter at Tyler Kurth, or you can find my articles at Reviewing the Brew on Twitter. So today I am here to take a step back this Tuesday. Not that long ago the Brewers were adding or protecting uh, players by adding them to the 40-man roster, and that was Mario Feliciano, Alec Bettinger, and then Dylan File. But of course, with that, you leave a lot of players unprotected. So what exactly does this mean, unprotected? So what this means is these guys who the Brewers not add to the 40-man roster are now eligible to be drafted in the Rule 5 draft this year. That takes place on December 10th. So any club who would draft said player would have to immediately put them on the 26-man roster, and they could not be shuttled out of the major leagues without first clearing waivers. So obviously it's a, it's a commitment for the team that wants to draft a guy. So some noticeables that the Brewers left off is, first off, Peyton Henry. I mean, MLB.com just came out with their most intriguing prospects who are Rule 5 draft eligible, and Peyton Henry was the case on the Brewers team. But what are the chances he actually gets taken by another team? I still think they're rather on the slim side. I mean, Henry was our 15th ranked prospect this year. He was by far behind Mario Feliciano, especially offensively, which is one reason why he was left unprotected. But his defensive game is great. Like, He's projected to be a very solid defensive catcher, which would bode well to, like at best, a backup catcher in the MLB. But would a team really want to draft him right now? Sure, you might speed up his progression by getting him some major league at-bats this year if, if you don't have a catcher of the future. But at the same time, like the Brewers protected Feliciano because they felt like he was at increased odds to be drafted. But I don't even think the Brewers think Feliciano's ready to go to the majors. I mean, a lot will be determined here with the tender deadline coming up. But that's just my like way too early quick take on it because the last time we saw both of Henry and Feliciano in game action, action was in double A. So they have a lot of development to do. Of course, there are like caveats to this t- too. Like defense catchers have value on certain teams. Like who would have thought Martin Maldonado would outlast Jonathan Lucroy, who was viewed as a very well-rounded catcher. But Maldonado, not a great offensive player, but he's still out there starting games for the Astros and was with them and they were making their deep playoff pushes. So um, that's just one kind of counter there I have to my own argument. <laughs> uh, but overall, I don't think Henry will be taken. Zach Brown is another guy whose name comes to mind. He's the 14th ranked prospect. He was left off the, or left unprotected last year. Again, he wasn't selected by anybody. He didn't pitch at all this year in the minor leagues. Um, So I highly doubt that anyone takes him. Next on the 30, or the top 30 prospect looks, you have Lucas Ursig, who has just been unable to hit the ball in the upper ranks of the minor leagues. He's now in 26 years old, but I mean, as a former, a former second round pick, there was always so much hype there. He just, he hasn't lived up to it. And I don't see anybody all of a sudden going, yeah, we want Ursig. No, not going to happen. Uh, Pablo Abreu is at number 29 in the Brewers organization. He is unprotected as well. And as an international signee, he just hasn't stayed healthy. He just recently went over surgery again as well. And hasn't been working his way up the the higher ends of the minor leagues. Um, granted, he is only 21 years old, which is between that and the fact he was an international signee and he's so young, I, I just don't think anybody is going to take him, especially given his inability to stay healthy. Other guys out there, Luke Barker is unprotected, Miguel Sanchez, Thomas Jenkins, uh, Cooper Hummel, uh, Quentin Torres Costa, Bowden Francis, Chad Sternberger. Those are some of the other more well known names that are unprotected. I know a lot of Brewer fans are like really high on Chad Spanberger for some reason. Maybe it's because they see a first base left handed hitting prospect in the Brewers organization and they just like hold on to hope that, hey, we have a first baseman coming up in the system. The drought of the revolving door at the first base will end. 
I don't know, probably not. <laughs> Chad Spanberger is 25 years old, did not hit very well in double A, especially when you take a look from his single A to double A numbers. So he needs some adjustments to do. And no minor league season actually really hurts him the most because there is always an adjustment period and he missed out on that this year. Um, so I don't think anybody will take him. I mean, he was the return in the Chase Anderson trade last year. So, I mean, obviously the Blue Jays got rid of him too for a reason as well. And I just don't see anybody taking a gamble on a guy who wasn't even successful in double A. So Chad, Chad Spanberger here to stay as well. So that is my really quick takes on the Brewers unprotected players in this year's Rule 5 draft. Again, that is December 10th. The biggest news for the Brewers coming up here now is you have the tender deadline. That is Wednesday, December 2nd. So that is when the, the offseason starts to get a little bit more interesting. You get a lot more new name free agents out there, some bigger names, some smaller names. Um, but I'm looking forward to it and just wanted to go back and review our unprotected uh, prospects before we got there. So make sure you hit subscribe if you are liking what you're seeing, and we will talk to you later, Brewer fans.